And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of GGR. Well, today I'm going to do a review on this. Yes, this is the Nokia E71. It is the so called PDA styled phone to rival the Blackberry. There it is. It has a QWERTY keypad here. As you can see on the front, I have the white model over here. Uh, so that's it. It has this really, really huge screen. Although it is not um, bigger than the BlackBerry one. Okay, but this is it. We have our QWERTY keypad and four quick buttons here. Bring it closer. The menu button, calendar button, the contacts button, and the email button. On top here, we have a secondary camera for um, 3G calls and a light sensor. Uh, on the side, we have an infrared port. We have a micro SD card slot and a USB slot. Um, on this side, we have the volume up and down, push to talk, and the headphone jack. Um, it doesn't sport the 3.5 millimeter that is that comes with the Express Music phone. Well, this is a business phone, however, so it has this really small one. Okay. Um, on the top, we have our speaker over here and the on off switch. On the back, we have a 3.2 megapixel autofocus camera, flash, and a mirror. So, yeah. Um, Basically, this is it. You can check out the unboxing um, on one of the previous episodes. And yeah, we're going to show you something real cool. If, um, say, you whip out the phone out of your pocket, right? And you want to tell the time. So hit any button here in the center. And the time just comes up. It also tells you what mode you're in, if it's locked, the date. And if you have a message, it'll be there. So yeah, so I'm, I'm going to lock it now. And here it is. This interface that you see right now is the menu interface for uh, the business mode of some sort. There are two modes where you can switch on this icon here. Okay. Okay, so um, this is the business mode, messaging, maps, and stuff. All right, I'm going to show you um, home. This is it, this is the menu. We have communications, office, log, connectivity, tools, media, installations, GPS, web, download, help, mem1 explorer. It actually spans out to a lot of stuff that you can do. Um, here we have the office where you can actually use, you can, you can actually do PowerPoint presentations on it, Excel presentations, which is really, really interesting. Um, Media, we have a, a recorder, music player, and you can actually access the Nokia Music Store straight from here. Okay, sorry, I pressed A. Okay, there it is. You can download podcasts straight into it. And yeah, that, that's it. it. And the camera is also quite clear, though. Check it out. And yeah. Well, basically, uh, hang on, I'll show you um, what the other mode looks like. So I just hit the switch mode button, right? And it says switching mode. And there it is. This is the play mode, the fun mode, the pleasure mode, you know? You just get a different interface here. And yeah. Calendar is very, very cool. It, it has, you can check it out in week mode or what. Uh, hang on. Show you. Week view. So you're actually viewing it in the weeks. Contacts. You can organize your contacts uh, into lots. You can add in a lot of information about your contacts. Email. This is how it looks like. It is also somewhat like uh, your messaging. It also looks the same. Well, the big question that most people will ask um, when they see the phone actually is uh, that uh, when you use the phone, because there's actually feedback that the keyboard, or the QWERTY keypad, sorry, is too small. 
um, for their fingers. But it uh, takes practice though. Um, after around two or three days with the phone, uh, messaging people, um, you get pretty much used to it and it is actually a pretty good phone. Um, yeah, weight wise, it is not really that heavy. Um, nothing to complain about. And yeah, it's just this very, very appealing looking phone. Which is much cooler, of course, than the E61. Which looked hideous, by the way. And yeah, so that's basically about it, the phone. Uh, therefore, we will give it a GGR 8.5 out of 10. Why didn't it get a 9 or why didn't it get a 10 from me? Because it just doesn't give the wow factor. Although it's cool, it's sleek, uh, it has most of the functions, it has a 3.2 megapixel camera. Um, it's not really that brilliant of some sort. The phone does um, at some point in time where you where you can we can't um, access the menu as in when you hit the menu button it doesn't access this page and it just gets stuck at this page uh, so you got to actually turn off the phone and restart it again which is really really irritating uh, video wise for example you're taking videos on this phone uh, say you're taking a one minute video and only 50 seconds of the audio from the video gets inputted into the camera, into the phone. Which means 10 seconds of the end of the video, you don't hear a thing. That is um, a pretty bad sign. Volume wise for this phone is, as in music volume, is not not bad actually um, quite loud as it only has one speaker here at the top to project the sound here let me try um, play a song although I don't think you can really hear it well through this but oh well check it out this is not um, at full volume yet it could go louder but this is the loudest volume. Everybody's gonna love today, gonna love today, gonna love today. Everybody's gonna love today, gonna love today. Any way you want to, any way you got to. Love, love me, love, love me, love, love me. Okay, so basically that is much more or less about the phone. Um, uh, That was, yeah. So that's basically about it. Um, still a pretty good phone. That that is why we give it an eight point five out of ten. Um, yeah. So I've been using it for about a month now, and I am. Although it doesn't give you the wow factor, I'm still pretty happy with it. Uh, there's not much downside to it. So, if you are looking for a phone and you're a businessman or whatever this might be the phone to consider although there is no push email or something like that you have to connect to wireless um, hotspots or your Wi-Fi at home to get email on the E71 other than that it is pretty good the back of the phone is stainless steel it's metal uh, that's basically it this could double as a mirror actually uh, yeah so that's basically about the phone, um, not much complaints about it, except for those that I just told you. So that is some parts where you have to take note when you want to buy this phone. So that's it, this is just my review of it. Uh, I will do a review or uh, something like, you know, a run through of the Nokia Music Store uh, really soon. Uh, as it's something new so perhaps you guys might want to try it out and you might want to think about trying it out so thank you for watching this episode of GGR for any more episodes go to ggrpodcast.blogspot.com I am Daniel any queries about the phone send it to ggrpodcast at hotmail.com title it E71 alright thanks for watching goodbye